Hi friends, I'm Ms. Winhoven, your school counselor. I am here to talk with you about week two of our second step program. Welcome, thank you for watching. There's some great things to learn. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, reviewing our listening rules from last week. Oh my goodness, <coughs> Buddy, calm down, calm down, what's going on? Oh, he is so excited to see you. And Buddy is gonna join us today. Oh my goodness, I don't think Buddy's following the listening rules. Buddy, calm down. Did you forget the rules? <coughs> okay, Buddy, let's calm down for a minute. Oh my goodness, he's so excited to see you. We're gonna remind Puppy of our listening rules. So Puppy, remember, our first rule is our eyes are watching. Eyes watching, that's right. Oh, he's so cute. The next one we're gonna think of Remember, our ears are listening. Puppy, are your ears listening? Well, that's right, we're gonna change that. So we need to listen to our teacher too. Very good. So listen and watch. The next one we're gonna remember is our voices are quiet. Shh, shh, you wanna be very quiet, puppy. That's right. And lastly, our bodies are still. We're hugging ourselves. Buddy, show us how you're still. That's right. Now do you remember how to use those four rules for class. Good. So puppy is going to show you that the right way to follow is to sit, be very quiet, listen, watch, and our bodies are always going to be still. So buddy's going to stay right here and sit very quietly and show you the right way to behave, to do the right things in class. Good. So we're going to practice listening and you're going to be thinking about what you heard. And we're going to listen to a learner song, which is kind of fun. It's about the things that you do to learn. And we can, we call all these things skills. Have you heard of skills, puppy? Yes, good. I've heard of skills too. They're great things that really help us in life. As I play the song, I want you to listen for the skills that learners need. And you're going to touch your head when you hear one. Puppy's going to play along too. I'm going to help him play. Okay. So here we go. I want you to listen. So this takes your listening skills by using your ears. Are you ready? Focus. Listen. Self talk. Be assertive. This is the way we all can learn. Get your attention. I hope that helped you a little bit by learning the rules of how to be focused in class. Great. So we're going to put puppy, we're going to let you go aside here and take a break. We're going to focus on our card for today. Okay. This is Caleb right here. He's listening to his teacher explain a number project. Look carefully. What do you notice about Caleb's face and body? Yes, he's focusing his attention on the teacher. Put your thumbs up if you notice the same thing. Good job. Caleb's teacher taught him a way to focus his attention. I will teach you the same skill. And when you focus your attention on something, you're using your brain. I like that. It helps you think about it, plus your eyes and your ears 
are focusing intention, and that is an important skill for learning. Now, have you ever heard of a telescope? Do you know what a telescope does? Yeah, a telescope is for looking at things that are far away, and it makes those far away things big so that you can see them. Put your hands around your eyes like this. Yes, this is your attentoscope. Yes, show me your attentoscope. Very good. An attentoscope is for paying attention to things. This helps you pay attention just to things that are important so they become big in your attention. It shuts out all the other things that could be going on all around you. Now, show me your attentoscope again. Yes, focus it on the clock. Now, put it down, but pretend that your attentoscope is still there. Did you do it? That's right. Pretend you have an attentoscope helps you really focus and shut out things that could distract you. Now, switch your pretend attentoscope on with your words. And when you say to yourself, focus attention, or look carefully, or listen, you're switching on your attentoscope. And to help yourself learn, you have to watch on your attentoscope and focus your attention. Oh, this is such great stuff, friends. I know Buddy has been sitting here so nicely and he wants to come back and see you. Buddy, come on back. Are you having fun? Yes, Buddy is showing you how to be a great learner. I love it. So I want you to stand up. Get a little bit of space between you and, and others around you, keeping the distance going on here. I would like to introduce you to Snailio. This is Buddy's friend. Look, Buddy's over here so excited to see Snailio. Yeah, this is Snailio. Puppy and Snailio are going to join us for a game of follow, follow. And this time, you follow Snail. So the rule is only do what Snail tells you. Puppy will try to trick you by telling you to do things too. Now, show me your attentoscope. Focus attention, switch it on. Focus on Snailio, not on Buddy. Okay, now put down your attentoscope and pretend that it's still there. All right, touch your nose. Follow, follow, touch your nose, Snailio. Oh yeah, follow, follow, touch your nose. Very good. Hey, touch your head, touch your head. No, Buddy. Snailio is giving the directions, right? So friends, we need to follow Snailio. Follow, follow, touch your eye. Very good. Follow, follow, touch your belly. Good job, Snailio. Friends, I like how you are listening and that is what learners do. Remember, we wanna follow those four directions. Watch with our eyes, listen with our ears, our voices are quiet and our body is still. You keep practicing those things and you're going to be the best student ever. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.